Good morning, everybody. My name is Sean I'm from Bicker Brothers, and you know, part of Sean plays a little side project that we have on Bicker Brothers. Um, I'm doing an early morning vlog. It's about eight twenty-seven in the morning right now. Um, it's my birthday today, actually. I just turned the big two seven. So, like, you know, that mediocre peak between 30 and, like, 25, where it's not that important, like, how old you are. So if you tell someone that you just turned 27, they'll be like, oh, happy birthday, because it's a nice thing to do, but really inside, they're like, who cares? Anyway, um, well, I wanted to give you guys an update on my life. Uh, this is a little bit of an update. So, I got a new job. I'm not going to say where, uh, because... All kinds of can of worms could be opened up if I do, and I'm just not touching that with a 10-foot pole, but I have a job now, so I will at least make an honest effort to continue to upload and stuff um, on my days off that I have. I am still in training for this job, and I have been for the past two, three days. Um, it's a, a job that requires a lot of expansive knowledge about a subject or multiple subjects, um, and so training takes a while to get through. Um, but anyway, that's not the important, I mean, that is exciting, but that's not the important part. The important part is, because I have a job now, my schedule is even more wonky. So that means I have a job that I have a dedicated 25 to 30 hour work week. So that takes up about two to three days, maybe four days. And then I'm going to have to have the remaining three days of the week, whatever they may be, or four days, depending um, somewhere I've got to fit in recording with Rob. Somewhere I've got to fit in recording my own stuff for you guys. Somewhere I have to fit in, you know, family time and spending time with uh, my girlfriend. And, uh, you know, spending time with the cat because I love Tina. Um, and figuring out my life in that aspect. And then there needs to be some time for me to relax. Because I can't go 24-7 just every day doing either work or doing YouTube, which is fun and relaxing for me, but it's it's still a sense that there's still a sense of work there, because I want to make sure that I'm pushing myself to give you guys the best quality content that I can, and to make sure that it's entertaining and I'm enjoying what I'm playing. Um, this will go up. I want to say this will go up, maybe today, but more than likely it will go up some point this coming week, maybe even next week. For you guys, that means nothing, but it'll either go up today, or it will go up um, on the week of the 11th, or the week of the 18th, if that means anything to you, that's probably a better time frame for you guys. Um, but basically, what I wanted to tell you guys is, so just be patient with me, please. I know that we're, we're trying to push so, so many videos out, and, and, and it's fun and enjoyable, but it's, it's, it's pushing a lot of videos out, you know. People on YouTube that watch YouTube casually don't see the work that gets put into it. And you're talking about, for example, just to use uh, the Game Grumps as a reference, um, or even Markiplier, they all have people that they hire out to do their editing, to do their, thumb well, not necessarily thumbnails all the time, but to do their editing, to do thumbnails, to do, you know, gather material for them to use in their videos and stuff. It's, they've got resource managers, they've got stuff like that. They have entire teams behind them that they can pay. Robbie and I don't. Robbie and I, literally every video you see come out of our channel is either Robbie or I sitting down, recording the video. Then once it's recorded, we edit it ourselves. And once it's edited, we play it back. We make the thumbnail. That gets put as a thumbnail. And then once that's all done, we have to sit down and figure out our upload schedule. Because, you know, for the solo stuff that Rob does and the solo stuff that I do, we don't want to overlap because we don't want to force so many videos down your guys' throat, but at the same time, we both, like, have, I'm sure you've noticed, we have the Bicker Brothers schedule, which is the videos that Rob and I are in together. Then we have the Robbie Plays and Sean Plays schedule, which is our own kind of weekly-based videos that we've done, where it's been like, okay, well, I'm interested, I'll, like, I'll take my videos, the Sean Plays videos, as I'm sure you've noticed, will pop up on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Those are the days I upload. Now, because I am I had a little more time and I'm getting ramped up, and because I got it for my birthday, I'm telling you guys now, you don't know it yet, but you're going to be excited, um, I'm playing Cuphead for the channel. So, I will now have videos starting the week of, 
uh, so starting this week, starting the week of the eleventh, I will have a video from Sean's play, from Sean plays on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's a lot for one person to do, because not only do I have this channel with the Bicker Brothers and the Sean plays, I have another channel of my own that I'm running independently of Robbie and Bicker Brothers called Sean's Musical Showcase, wherein I do two videos a week, Tuesday and Thursday. And I sit down at my piano back here that you can kind of see. Um, my, I sit down at my piano right there. Sorry for the jerkiness. And I play musical theater songs, and I sing, and I talk about shows and stuff. And that goes up every Tuesday and Thursday. If you want, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. But it's not really... Unless you really like musical theater or you like watching people sing or playing piano then go ahead and check it out. But if you don't, then that might not be something that's up your alley if you're watching, you know, Baker Brothers for gaming and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I just want to give you a heads up on that. And then uh, the second thing I want to talk about today is we, both Robbie and I, more so Robbie than me because I think Robbie's doing it. I'm sure you've noticed he's ramped up the horror games and I think he definitely wants to. He's talked about wanting to do a horror event for the whole month of October. I myself am going to be doing a horror event for October, but I'm not doing the whole month. I'm just doing from starting on the 19th, starting on the 19th of this month, I'm going to be doing a 13 days of Halloween, or 13 games of Halloween. I forget what I call it, but I'll slap an image up on here so you can see the logo for it and everything. Um, and I'm going to be playing a horror game every day until Halloween, starting on the 19th. And I, oh, sorry, it's not the 19th. I apologize. Starting on the... No, I'm right. Starting on the 19th. My calendar's a bit cluttered right now. Forgive me. So starting on the 19th, I'll be playing a horror game every single day. And that does include Saturdays and Sundays. Every single day until Halloween. And Robbie is doing, I think, his standard videos. But they're all just going to be Halloween videos. Um, so anyway... We hope you guys enjoy that. We hope you guys enjoy the work that we're putting into this channel because it is a lot of work. As much fun as it is and as relaxing as it is, it is still work. Um, and, and we wouldn't do it if we didn't love it. We do love doing it. But, you know, now that I've gotten a job, it, it makes it a little more stressful, you know, sitting down and finding time to, like, okay, well, I like, I know that I really wanted to record Cuphead. And I got it for my birthday. So I've been playing it, recording it, and I've been deep into that game. I've been having so much fun with it. I love it. I hope that that conveys in the video because I truly, I love it. And, like, I, I have the itch. It's hard, but it's that, like, hard that makes you feel like when you, when you fail, it's your fault, so you want to do better. And it's just, like, catchy and, and it gets under your skin enough that you're like, I need to go back and play it. I need to go back. I need to do better. And like, it's really cool. Um, so check that out. That's coming to the channel again this week, Tuesday, Thursday. But it's hard to sit down because I look at my calendar and I go, okay, well, I need to do this. I need to do this. I have a section of my board that says to record. I have a section of my board that says to edit. A section of my board that says thumbnails. And a section of my board to upload. Which means every video I do, just about, and I have a weekly schedule of post-it notes underneath that of what is uploaded and what is going out this week. So I know in my head, okay, this week is this, so that means next week I need to do that. It's my way of staying like a week or two ahead. Because if I don't, my content will seriously drop in quality and like quantity. Because again, I have a job now where I work 25 to 30 hours a week. I have, you know, family time that needs to be spent. I have other obligations that I, you know, do during the week. Like Saturday nights I have a game night. Sunday day today after I get off of work I'm having another game day because that's going to push back I, I run a tabletop game online so like I've got life stuff that's going on too on top of finding time to record and edit finding time to do videos like figuring out what I want to play and then I have to have meetings with Rob because we need to figure out what we want to play for you guys and like what we're in the mood to play or what footage we need together like right now we're still trying to find a week to sit down, or four days or three days, to sit down and record more of our big series that we started when I lived in Asheville and we could just go to each other's houses like every other week. Um, so it's, it's moving is a blessing. It's, I, I love it. I, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. I still, if I had to go back in time, I would still do it. 
it's opened up so many opportunities for me and our channel I feel has only grown because I've moved and we've had to work a little bit harder to get stuff done and plan out things but at the same time like it's like okay well that makes that aspect of it a little bit harder like okay well when are you free when does your schedule line up with mine when can we sit down and even if it's not traveling or like going back to Asheville to record with Rob or Rob coming here it's it's okay how do we where in your schedule are you free to get online and sit down and we need to play a game together so we have footage at least in that aspect um I just want to say now I don't think it will happen I think we will be able to find time to record maybe it's getting harder because you know Robbie takes care of his family member and it like that makes it a little more difficult too but and I can't speak for Rob so this is all coming from me just FYI this is a Sean plays vlog so just know that um, it makes it more difficult and so it's all these things that come together um, but I, I don't want to say that it won't happen I want to say that we're going to try our darndest to make it happen that we get together at some point this month and record together um, but some of those series may end up getting pushed back so stuff like Alien stuff like you know what's, what's out now that will be ending and I don't remember exactly what it is so don't quote me on that um, but one of a couple of our longer series that we've been going on for quite a while now may be pushed back in favor of something online that we can do together, uh, just because of you know uh, ergonomics and, and the logistics of of getting together to record. Now that I've moved, because I'm two and a half hours, three hours away from where I used, where I used to live, with like where I was. 10 minutes away from Rob's house. Now I'm three hours away from Rob's house. And it makes it a little bit difficult. But anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me ramble and talk and shout at you and speak delirious thoughts at, eight, you know, now 8.39 in the morning. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for investing time in our channel and us. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, uh, obligatory. <laughs> please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please check out our Patreon and our Discord if you feel like throwing a little money our way because that would help because it would give us, you know, money that we don't have to spend ourselves on things that we need. Like, <clears throat> we, we can put more money towards gas for traveling or put more money towards, like, better cameras or better equipment or newer games or something like that to hopefully push our content to the next level for you guys. Uh, so please consider checking that out. You don't even have to donate if you want to just go look at it and tell a friend. Um, also, you know, if you want to get the word out, we're at 40 subscribers now. That's amazing. Like, I didn't... I started doing YouTube a while ago under very different pseudonyms, and I've had smaller channels. I had, like, five subscribers. I had small channels. I, like, my musical showcase channel is has 10 subscribers now, which to me is huge. As an individual channel, that's huge. Um, we have 40 subscribers. I didn't know that we would make it to, like, 20. I was just doing it for the fun of it. And now we have 40 subscribers. And that's incredible. And our goal for the year end is 50 subscribers. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, whatever. But if it does happen, that's awesome. So if you want to help that number grow, if you want to feel you know a part of this community and invested in our channel, share a video that you like of ours on Facebook. Tell a friend about us. Be like, hey, have you heard of Bicker Brothers? No? Well, they're pretty funny. I mean, they get salty toward each other a lot. It's pretty interesting to watch. Here, check out this video. I really like it. I mean, feel free. You can even be like, use it dismissively. But they're no game grumps. They're not amazing. They're probably not even that funny. But they're a little bit funny, so check them out. You know, whatever whatever you want to tell people. But anyway, I'm rambling on now and I need to stop. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, check out our Patreon and Discord. And as always, truly thank you for watching. I, I can't speak for Rob, but I know. And I'm sure he feels the same way. It, it absolutely means the world to us. More than you know. That there are people <laughs> invested in watching us be jackasses on the internet. On the daily. Because I didn't ever think that was a possibility growing up. YouTube happened and opened this widespread media, this stage for everybody to thrust themselves upon and giggity, and and show the world who they are. And the market is just so oversaturated. The fact that we have 40 subscribers is incredible and mind-blowing and <laughs> it's so cool 
Every single one of you guys that made that happen, I can't thank you enough. But anyway, it's <laughs> the third time I've said it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>